Now, for the Lakers, they got questions going forward. No, look, is this your success in the Lakers? Absolutely. You started 2-10. and 10. You started 2-10 and 10 in a very, 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 very competitive Western Conference. Okay? And somehow got into the play-in. Won your play-in. Beat the... But let's be real. Grizzlies was a 2 seed, but they were not stable. They're young, brash, were not mentally fit, and... They, they won that series. Then you beat the defending champions in the second round of playoffs. Okay? So this is this year is a success for the Lakers. It should be. But this is where it gets complicated for the Lakers going forward. Yes, you have arguably two guys who are still top 10 guys, arguably. AD and LeBron James. Yes, AD's back my, probably back, back my top 10 when he's healthy, of course. This year he proved to be semi-healthy and he was healthy most of the playoffs. Or the entire playoffs, rather. So you got to give him that dude. Give him his respect there. But there's questions now with the roster. They, they're going to have what? The estimate we hear is that the Lakers are going to have about 30 to $32 million of cap room once they get the official number of how much how much the salary cap is going to be. The, 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 the prediction is going to be about $30 million to $32 million in cap room. You know LeBron's getting, getting older. Okay, let's assume LeBron comes back. We, yeah, we go, we'll touch on the, the retirement over for a second. But let's assume LeBron does come back. Okay, obviously he's back, 39, 30 years old. He's still great. Still top 10 player in the league. Okay. Uh, AD is made the top 10 case again. But AD also is going to, and you got to bake it in always, he's going to miss at the minimum 10 to 15 games a year, no matter what. Maybe more. And that's, and that's putting it kindly, honestly. The roster, yes, is better than it was pre-trade when they traded Russell Westbrook and got those pieces back. They also got to pay Austin Reeves, who had a great postseason. They got to pay uh, uh, Rui, Rui Achimura, who had a really good postseason as well, too. They also got to pay uh, Dennis Schroeder. They also, what about DeAndre Russell, who had a horrible series? Personally, they just didn't let him walk, Russell. So, is the question of LeBron this? Is he done winning, winning rings? I can't say no because if all things come into play, currently constructed, I will say yes. Because teams are going to get better. Okay? So he's not gonna get any, LeBron's not going to get any better than he is now. Okay? AD could stay healthy, and, and if he's healthy, he's definitely a top five, 10, maybe something to say top five guy in the league. Okay? But they might have to go and get another star. To fill in those 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 uh, those gaps, in other words, um, she, assuming you're gonna miss LeBron for 10, 15 years, to fifteen games next year, assuming you're gonna miss AD for ten, fifteen as well. The reason they, they went after Russell Westbrook, the reason why Russell Westbrook was a thing in the first place, is because they need that third star to fill in those gaps in those in those games that they missed those stars. Now, I don't think that necessarily works in today's NBA anymore because when you have three stars paying on max dollars, you know, it leaves the rest of the roster uh, exposed. And you saw that early in the year. And then when the Lakers actually got rid of the third star and brought in more depth, it got him this far. But the peculiar position that the Lakers are in right now currently is the fact that you got one star is, is, is t- closer to 40. Still great, but still closer to 40. And all star that while when he's healthy, he's great, but he's always or always hurt. Which puts you behind the ball out the gate. So they may have to dial into the Kyrie Irving thing. It might be that might that might be the only situation with Kyrie Irving where I believe he could be insulated enough to be controlled. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm not saying that Kyrie is a weird bird. And I feel like the only situation that will work for Kyrie mentally in terms of keeping him relatively controlled is with LA with LeBron and those guys in that franchise. But He's probably going to want more than three, $32 million a year. And you still got to sign Austin Reeves. And you still got to sign other guys. That's why it's peculiar. That's why the situation is, 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 a, is a bit more uh, uh, questionable for the Lakers going forward. Should you move? And then another one's also too. Could, should you move AD? Because right, his, 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 right now his stock right now as we sit here is probably going to be the highest it's ever going to be going forward. Anthony Davis. Do you consider moving Anthony Davis to get more, more, more back? Here's the problem with, with that. If you move him, who are you getting? Who can you get, honestly? Because no un- unless you're getting someone like Jokic, Giannis, maybe even Curry, 
you know, Luka, maybe Embiid. Who else are you getting? There's no one else that a team would want. You, unless you're getting a, a player of, of that ilk, a top five player of that ilk, that can, give, that can actually play with AD, that can actually play with LeBron, and you can move AD with some picks. You're stuck with AD. You just got to hope and pray and, and, and cross your fingers that he can stay healthy and move forward. That's going to be the question. That, that's going to be the, the, the big uh, the big ado about that. So do you consider it? I'm t- Look, if I'm the Lakers, I'm taking phone calls. I, at the very least, I'm taking phone calls for AD. Okay? But they may have to get the third star again. They may have to go down that, down that route, road again and get a third star. 